Are you quitting ZBrush and moving on to Blender? I've got some tips and tricks for you. All right, so I'm in Blender 3.4.1. The very first one is performance. That's one of the big downfalls of Blender is that it's simply not nearly as optimized as ZBrush is. This is under edit, down to preferences. And on the left-hand side, we're gonna find viewport. By default, quality, viewport anti-aliasing is set to eight samples. Now, if you're on a low-end machine, you're really gonna notice uh, a difference here when you turn this off, or at least I did. You're gonna get more performance out of Blender, which is awesome. When that is done, I'm gonna go to save preferences. These are all of our brushes, but if I hover over this window and I can stretch this, you know, to somewhere right here, and this is actually gonna label what each of these is. This is just gonna clear things up. Draw, draw sharp, clay strips, etc. cetera. Uh, you can also scroll down here. There are a lot more brushes and tools at your disposal. At the top of your screen, if you go to brush, we are looking for radius units. So currently it's set to view and I hate this, honestly. So let's get clay strips. If I left click and drag, that looks good. But if I zoom out, you'll notice now if I left click and drag, it's affecting the whole sphere. My brush size is dependent upon how far away uh, I am to my mesh. So I'm very close, my brush size is tiny. And if I'm very far away, my brush size is giant. So if you'd like it to behave more like ZBrush, go up to brush and radius unit instead of view, click scene. This will keep my brush size this size, no matter how far away from my mesh that I am. And I prefer that. Inside of Blender, if you're using industry compatible key maps, tab is your friend. So what I'm gonna do is head over to object mode and scale. I'm gonna press four on my keyboard. I'm using industry compatible key maps. This is an object mode. I am actually gonna drop in a new mesh. So I'm gonna go to add mesh. UV sphere. Let's just scooch this one over so we can see what's going on. I'm going to press R to scale, something like that. And let's press five to get back into sculpt mode. So I can, I can sculpt on this. That's no problem, but something is different. Look what happens if I grab this object and sculpt on it. My cursor is perfectly circular. Let's bounce back to this one. This one, it's, it's like an oval and that is not good. You're going to run into issues. So this is a perfect example of knowing what something is called using the tab function to search. So back in object mode, I am going to select this sphere that has been scaled. I'm gonna press tab. I'm gonna type in apply or start spelling out apply because what I'm looking for is apply all transforms. So if you know what something's called, you can search for it, which is really helpful. In this case, if you scale, alter your mesh, I need to apply all transforms before I get back to sculpting. So I'm gonna press five. You'll notice I have that circular brush again, which is what I need.